page, I'm Dave here from UMHQ. In this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how you can make breakable boxes using a simple ACS script and map spots. Now, as you can see, I've already got all my boxes in place and set up, and they're accompanied with map spots uh, to the side and on top. The map spots on the side are used to spawn the debris of the box after it's been shot and broken, and the top uh, map spots are used to spawn the actual items that will come from the box if you want them to spawn that at all. You don't have to, you can just make some breakable boxes without that. And the way that this effect is uh, executed is the, site, the line depths are given a tag ID. And then when uh, they're given the, uh, the flag um, on project projectile impact, that it will trigger the script. Now, the script itself takes three arguments. The arguments are the ID of the box, and then the two optional um, ones are the item spawn, the item spawners, which you'll fill in with the item spawn number uh, that goes to whatever you're trying to spawn. Now, to keep things in, uh, simple, um, basically what I do is I started, when I made the boxes, I made them in increments of two. So this is two, this is four, and this is six. Um, and I keep everything a little simpler by making all the spawners for the debris the same ID as the box. So you don't have a bunch of different tag IDs that you have to remember or you might lose track of and things like that. And then the spawner on top <coughs> will be that same number plus one. So if this is two, this is three, this is four, this is five, this is six, and that's seven. And that's just to keep everything simple. Um, so, once you get everything in place, it'll run a simple script that basically lowers these sectors into the ground. Now, you have to remember, if for this script to work, all the line depths have to be facing face out. So you'll need to make sure that any of these little nubs here that you intend to act as a surface to um, be triggered, all of them are facing out, which is their front-facing um, direction. And once you get all that done, um, it should look like this. That's pretty much all there is to it. I mean, it's a really simple, you know, effect, but it could um, increase the style of your game and what.